Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of COVID. Today we are going to touch on COVID cleanings during stage 4 lockdown in Melbourne. I'm going to do my best to give you all the COVID cleaning questions answered. Thank you for all the questions you have sent and thanks to everyone. Um, a small disclaimer, I'm just putting this resource to give you some answers to the best of my ability and also with the answers that we can gather around the net and in all the trusted websites. If I make any mistake, please forgive me. Today we are going to answer some questions relating to COVID cleanings. We are still open as Clean House Melbourne. We are still open for business. We do COVID disinfection, COVID sanitization. We do house cleaning for people that are unable to do their cleaning themselves for any reason that might be health or safety. And they are considered like essential cleanings. We do also commercial cleaning as per usual. We do move out cleanings and moving cleanings that's to help the real estate industry to go forward. But a lot of people have asked us what is an essential cleaning and how they can qualify. It's very easy when you know the answer. So basically anyone who is not capable, I mean capable, not does not have any desire to do his cleaning, not capable of doing his cleaning or her cleaning for any reason that for health or physical, mental, emotional or safety reasons, then they automatically qualify to request our house cleaning. In addition to all the people that are already receiving some sort of welfare support, such as NDIS, TSA, home care, those automatically are qualified and their cleaning will continue. A lot of people have asked us also, what are the high touch areas that everyone is talking about in the COVID cleans? So I have compiled a list, which is a little bit for everyone. So basically the high touch area is any area that we might think or anyone might touch. For example, all entries and exit and dub, that's double sides. So from the outside and from inside, including all the frames and all the window seals and the windows, all the light switches and plugs, all the hallways and the walls and frames, skirting boards, any flat surface, any mirrors, any doors, handles, hinges, all drawers and handles, for example, in the kitchen with also the doors, the cabinet doors, all the chairs and tables, all the rubbish bins. If we are talking about a school, also all the playground, the outside area, offices, entrances, canteen and eateries, libraries, buses and school cars or office cars or um commercial cars we have to disinfect them as well meeting areas classrooms cupboards hallway cupboards storage areas laundries canteens gyms workout areas couches tables coffee tables all the utensils that are uh, on the kitchen bench blinds and blind chains uh, if we are talking about a building then we can go to garage entrance and that includes all the part that can be touched all the bathrooms and toilets are all disinfected including the sinks urinals around the washing machines and the toilet all the kitchens we go and sanitize the whole outside of the kitchen including the doors and the edges. We also 
consider high touch areas also all the desks and that includes all the monitors mouses phones keyboard everything we also sanitize storage area and any surface that anyone can touch one more question that we have been receiving is what is the product we use how to choose how to make sure that we are or the people are choosing the right one so for us we have chosen net bucam dsam you can see all the name and all the features in the description uh, basically it's an australian tga approved for covid19 and it claims to be two solution in one and to it kills SARS COVID-19 virus in two minutes. It's not inflam uh, flammable and it's not toxic. It's safe for children and pets and adults. It's suitable for all transport, commercial, industrial, health service, military and in essential service industry. It complies with all the Australian regulation and safe work Australia. It confirm it conforms also with the, uh, the very seedal effectiveness European standard, and it has a good performance in the presence of organic material or soil. Just because I'm mentioning soil, soil means when a surface is dirty, we normally have to deep clean it first with the detergent and then we can sanitize it why we do this because in this way the sanitizer will stick to the surface and will be more efficient okay this product can be used uh, in a bottle spray spray bottle or uh, in a fogging machine some people have asked us is covid uh, cleaning service or a deep clean no 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 it's not a deep clean we are not doing a spring clean we are when we do a covid clean we are chasing the coronavirus the bacteria so what we do is we sanitize and disinfect all the property to leave it as covid free as possible Obviously, no one can claim that they can get 100% of the virus off. Why? Because we don't have that certainty or that scientific proof. But the product that we use, they claim that and we use them to the best of our ability and taking all the precautions to keep ourselves very safe, our cleaners and also to make the place as safe as possible for our customers, clients, children, adults, and pets. Some people also, because there is a lot of requests for COVID cleans, unfortunately, because we are experiencing high uh, infection rate in Melbourne, people ask us how far or how soon can I have my uh, COVID clean? The answer is we can organize it in less than 24 hours because we have a system in place, but uh, we will not send anyone that is not qualified to do this clean. Meaning that if we are full, we prefer to say no or to do your cleaning let, like a one day or two days after, but we will not send anyone who is not qualified to do this job because they will jeopardize their health and yours and that's not the business we are in we are in the business of helping people to live in healthy and safe environments some people ask us is vacuuming a mopping part of covid clean let me clarify vacuuming is not only mopping is part of the covid clean meaning we mop at the end of our clean what we mop all the tiled and wooden floors some people ask us also if we need to do the carpet steam cleaning the question the answer is yes and no when we fog 
the premise obviously the product goes on top of the carpet and it sanitized the top part but if someone wants something really really deeper as deep covid clean or have some delicate health or some health challenges we recommend to do also the carpet steam cleaning as an extra and obviously it has an extra time and extra price another question that we get is uh, people are afraid and they ask us can i be sure how can i be certain that after our cleaning our covid cleaning my place or my place of residence or my place of work or school or aged care are safe the answer is very easy we do our covid clean in two phases that's what we have been recommended by the health department two phases meaning that we fog first to make sure that the product goes everywhere not only when we can reach and also everywhere and then manually we go and sanitize all the high touch areas this is in place to make sure that we leave the place as safe as possible some people they said yeah uh, or some we have seen some people that are out of work and they say you know what i'm going to do this clean myself and to make some money because otherwise i'm i don't have any income please do not do it not everyone can do this clean imagine if you hurt yourself or you are not very skilled and you get infected or you do a lousy job and then the person who hired you gets sick because you haven't done your job properly i don't think that it's worth doing and it's a big risk and it's not fair and i don't recommend it in our company we have just one small trained team and only this team can do this job once we are booked we don't take any more jobs we just reschedule them for another day that's it because we value the health of others and our health some people ask us also what sort of chemicals are approved or how can we choose them my recommendation or my understanding is all the australian tga approved products are good we have chosen NetBiochem DSAM and we are very happy with that. Most people they ask us also how much it costs to do like a house disinfection. There is no fixed price. Some companies they have like a fixed price or they have an hourly rate or for warehouses and offices they have like a per square meter price. In clean house melbourne we don't have that system we just give the price according to the extension of the cleaning that we need to do and that will vary according to the size location amount of furniture chairs tables layout and uh, also height when we are talking about a warehouse the last question is how long does it take to do a home disinfection it's very easy it takes just few hours not more because we have a big team but if we are going to a big office or a big school or a warehouse it could take from half day to a few days according to the size of the premise and how many areas we have to cover thank you so much for your attendance and if you have any question please reach out we will be very happy to assist you in anything we can clean house melbourne is one of the best 
cleaning services here in Melbourne. We are having a lot of requests and we can assure you that with us, you are in good hands. We will look after you. We will make sure that we understand your needs and we will work with you to make sure that your house, office, warehouse, medical center or school is cleaned and disinfected as quick as possible. Thanks to everyone. We'll talk soon. Bye for now.